What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And today let's check out another South Park episode that you recommended from season 15. This is Crack Baby Athletic Association. Let's do this. The Buddha. <laughs> Take this, Dolly Terrence. <laughs> Those were pieces. So much suffering. Oh no! It's that super sad Sarah McLaughlin commercial! Look away! These are images of babies born addicted to crack cocaine. Uh. They lie in the dark, crying, with nobody to hold them. Stop it. Oh, dude, that's so sad. Why do they have to put this on TV? I'm Sarah McLaughlin, and I was famous for two months. Each year, <laughs> thousands of babies are born addicted to crack and lie in hospitals without a mother to hold them. I'm trying to remember the name of the song that Sarah McLaughlin used to sing. What? In the arms of the wreckage. I can't remember, but I think that's the song that they might be referencing. God, South Park is stupid. Go to your local hospital now. Here are some more pictures. Stop, I guys. I gotta go volunteer, dude. We have so many abandoned babies and not enough people like yourself who care. What exactly can I do to help? Just hold yeah. them, talk to them. Play with them. You'll find they're so hungry for attention. Here's our crack baby ward now. It's actually really great you're volunteering now because our other little boy <clears throat> volunteer is just finishing up. Oh, no. Oh, hey, Cal. What are you doing here? Exactly. I'm volunteering my time, Cal. Young Eric has been here every day for the past two weeks, bless his heart. Why do you have a video camera? Find out what they're up to, man, because you know they're up to something. And butters. What's going on? <laughs> what if I were to tell you there's a way to help those poor babies born addicted to crack and give them a future as well? All right, what is it? Okay. Crack baby basketball. Whoa, whoa, Kyle, come on. Don't tell on us. <laughs> Why do you need me? Because we needed you to do the bookkeeping. My goodness. Damn it. I knew you were doing something terrible. What's terrible, Kyle? We fill a little ball with crack, we let the crack babies fight over it, and we put it up on the internet. Who cares? Lots of people will when I tell them. We made $1,000 in 11 days. You what? Ask the guys. There's six hospitals within a 10-mile radius, and all we do is pit the crack babies against each other with a little ball of crack. $1,000. This thing is huge. Uh, what kind of game is that? And it doesn't hurt the crack babies at all. We're swimming in cash, Cal. Let me take you out to Denny's. It's Baconalia time. Baconalia. Only at Denny's. Well, there's a big wait to sit down. All right, Mr. Cartman, we have your table waiting, sir. We started with two crack babies and a camera. Butters did all the internet stuff. We've come here every night for Denny's Baconalia specials. Every single night. Bacon inside pancakes. They even have a bacon sundae for dessert. We are turning this thing into a legitimate sport, Kyle. And EA Sports is offering us 100000 for the video game rights. Them chicks be jacking my style. They try and copy my swagger. I'm on that next Get up, buddies. It's all charity, so it's tax-free. You know what's weird to say? Like, if something like this actually existed right now in real life, it wouldn't even surprise me all that much. People are willing to do all kinds of things for views. Silly challenges, using their kids, making... Reactions? And then you got plenty of people that are willing to take advantage of charitable tax-free organizations. Like look at some of the churches out there that take advantage of their congregations. I mean, not all, but definitely some. It's like volunteering, but, but we just make a little on the side. Somebody's gotta eat all that bacon, cow. Might as well be us. Welcome to the fam. Dude, I want you to have this. It's the 20 bucks I owed you, plus $30 interest. Wow, really? I am making tons of money doing some really cool stuff. Doing what? Crack baby basketball. Oh man, See, he sold look, him on it. just video the babies fighting over a ball full of crack. It's really getting popular. It's, it's great <sighs> because everyone wins, you know? You see that? Two million hits. Wow. Did you know they're putting bacon inside of <laughs> pancakes at Denny's? He's speechless. Betsy McIntosh, what do you want? We heard about you through the Passages Sobriety Clinic. They said you've skipped out on your rehab once again. 
Oh, God. <laughs> Am I correct that you are eight and a half months pregnant and still addicted to cocaine? I don't want my baby born addicted to drugs, but I can't stop! <laughs> well, ma'am, I have some exciting and you're news. you're smiling. We would like your child to play for the Crack Baby Athletic Association. We believe that St. Mary's is the best hospital for your child, and we're prepared to offer it a full ride. Now, do you know yet if your child is male or female, or so deformed you'll never be able to tell? How much will he make? Well, nothing. Crack Baby players can't make a salary based on the rules. So what, you would make money off of my child? That doesn't seem fair. Oh, okay, so this is what they were referencing in that Six Days to Air documentary. How fucked up the NCAA is and how fucked up it is that players don't get paid. I don't really keep up with sports like that, but didn't that change fairly recently? Like, I thought I remember hearing something about that. I don't right? make the rules, ma'am. I just think them up and write them down. Can't you, you change the rules? <sighs> ma'am, the Crack Baby Athletic Association is a storied franchise. It was founded over 12 days ago. Benefits to players is detrimentalized to their well-being. I cannot offer you or your child any cash. I can, however, offer you a little bit of crack. Butters? What actually makes total sense about it, if you look at it, is that the crack <laughs> babies are finally getting some attention and the care that they need. He's feeling guilty. Most of these babies would normally not even get out, you know? Or be able to do anything. Stay as I hear you, bro. Money doesn't mean that those babies aren't benefiting. You sound like Cartman. Oh. Ugh. Dude, we're not the ones that made them crack babies. That's their mom's goddamn fault. Yeah, I'm sure that's what Cartman would say, too. I do not sound like Cartman, goddammit! <laughs> All I asked you to do was to get Slash to play at halftime for the matchup between the crack babies at Cedar sinai and DU. We're just having a hard time finding him. Slash is not hard to find! He'll show up to play anywhere if you pay him! He played at my eighth <laughs> birthday party, for Christ's sake! Look! Look, he's playing at Lakewood Mall right now! Come, have a seat. I need to talk to you. Mr. Peters, can I call you back? Our company accountant needs me. Yes, he is Jewish. Okay, thanks, Mr. Peters. Bad. In our deal with EA Sports, we are giving them the right to use images of the crack babies and their names. But we aren't paying the crack babies. They can't make money. It's against the rules. But this video game can make a million dollars. We have to give the crack babies a piece of that. CBAA rules. All income is non-profit. Safety will always come first. Crack babies cannot receive compensation of any kind. All company decisions are by vote. The league may sell advertising. Hmm. Kyle, it says right there, rule number three, crack baby players cannot receive compensation of any kind for their play. But they're the ones risking injury. The government could come after us, Cartman. We're a non-profit company, Cal. So then where did the $800 we made from selling an internet ad to Payless Shoe Source go? The things we need to keep the office running, Kyle. Here, look. A hot tub? It's not just a hot tub. Taste it. Gravy? Kentucky Fried Chicken gravy. No way. What? A hot tub full of KFC gravy, Cal. Did you ever think you would see that in your lifetime? See, I thought that was gonna be chocolate. It's chocolate. As owners of this company, we owe it not only to ourselves, but to the crack babies to be as stress-free and clear-headed as possible. McDonald's french fries and KFC gravy. The French call this poutine. No, but dude, we can't license our okay. games to EA Sports and pay the crack babies nothing. Slavery is illegal. I'll do some undercover work and find out how the other companies get away with it. What other companies? Dean Howland, a representative from another prestigious institution, is here to see you. Hello there! The name is Eric P. Cartman. I'm a well-respected owner in the slave trade. My peaches, what a wonderful office you got yourself, yeah? Certainly got yourself a lucrative business, don't you? Like yourself, I'm also in the slave trade. This is messed up. I find myself in a little quandary with legal issues. I was wondering if you could share some secrets. <laughs> you have some mighty strong looking workers here, sir. I'd be willing to offer you $40 for two of the white ones and 50 for the blacks. What are you saying? Are you referring to our student athletes? Student athletes. Oh, that is brilliant, sir. Now, when we sell their likeness for video games, how do we get around paying for our slave uh, student athletes then? Wow. There are. Good reasons why our student athletes cannot be paid, young man. I ain't arguing. If they got paid, then how'd we make all our money, right? And if there was any government agency listening in on this here conversation, they should know that we're not talking about slave ownership at all. All right, so now how do you get around not paying your slaves? Get out. This is a prestigious university, and I am not saying one more word to you. You think you can do whatever you want just because your corporation is a university? Screw you, Sam. I'm going home. <laughs> Man, this episode really does make you think. 
like just how much money does a basketball team or, or football team bring into a university? Right, just think about ticket sales alone every year. And then on top of that, you have these endorsements and you have these video game deals. It's really got me curious. Here's the thing. Whether or not I'm a part of it, Crack Baby Basketball is popular. Somebody's going to do it. He was so asleep. the only way for me to try and help the situation is to be involved in it. The world isn't always black and white. Just because some people are born poorer than others doesn't mean I can't enjoy a few McDonald's french fries in a hot tub of gravy from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now we don't know where to go because Slash is playing the Pavilion in Colorado Springs and the Gigadome in Moscow later this afternoon. How can Slash be playing in Colorado Springs and Moscow at the same time? We don't know. He's everywhere. <laughs> Slash clearly has a fan club, right? So just go to the post office and find out where the mail gets in, and then you have Slash's home address. I've been doing a lot of thinking about how the company is going to spend the money we make off the EA Sports deal. We are going to use 30% of the money to build an orphanage for the crack babies. What? I've designed it to be the best place for them to live. A place where they can finally have the care and happiness they deserve. Oh my god. It's genius, Cal! What? This is the answer to our problems! A $300,000 building, but we buy ourselves a million dollars worth of goodwill with the public. It's like moral Teflon! I knew we needed a Jew in this wow. company, Cal. Great work! You kids want me to tell you where Slash lives? Please, sir, it's very important. Kids write to Slash every day, but it all just goes into this big pile over here. Don't you ever wonder how Slash can be all those places at the same time? It's because <laughs> he's made up. He's made up. Such Hello? a cool twist. Dad, is Slash real or make-believe? Oh, dear. Clyde, the truth is, Slash isn't a person. He's more like a feeling in your heart, you know? Slash isn't real. Get out of here. <laughs> really a lie he's like a uh, he's like love people all over the world dress up <laughs> like slosh and have different names for slosh the dutch call him wunterslosh your this mother's dutch you know clyde how, how did that old folk song go honey why does it matter how much i'm making stan if the crack babies are getting a place to grow and develop why does my salary matter slash is it real what Slash isn't real. He's a made-up person that represents care and giving, and people dress up like him and lie to their kids. <laughs> Slash is make-believe! Here, look for yourself. So He's silly. based on a fable of a Dutch saint named Wunterslausch. What? Wunterslausch? What? <laughs> but then, who played at my eighth birthday party? One of our parents. But then, who was the guitar player for Guns N' Roses? One of our parents. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? This is so dumb. You knew about this? My parents told me Slash wasn't real when I was five. Slash is a real person, isn't he? According to this, you now own all the rights to crack baby basketball and we get nothing. Yes, our lawyers are damn good. But you didn't get nothing. Why, you boys got experience, didn't you? I'd give you some free video games, but it's against the rules. We were gonna build an orphanage, so the crack babies have somewhere to go. Oh, well, fuck them. And fuck you too. I piss in your faces. Well, boys, this has been real educational and all, but now let's part with that old EA Sports saying. Get the fuck out of my building. That's not. <laughs> but I guess making tons of money off of people who are making nothing is always gonna cause problems. We might have got screwed, but the really tragic thing is that those those poor crack babies at the hospitals are just gonna be stuck there with nowhere to go. No way. This is it, Stan! Orphanage for crack babies. All the crack babies will have a home now. But who paid for all this? Kyle, Kyle, look. But he isn't real. Maybe. What do they say? He is real, you gay. Another one of those funny, thought-provoking South Park episodes with a weird twist at the end. Really enjoyed that. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.